small field, 30 left. Hello. Welcome to Kokomo. Don't feel very good. Over here. Cody Ernest, Damon Nagel. Nathan Lafayette, Ian Montrose, Joey Brewer, Hayden Long, Blake Giggly, Heat, Feature, Race 1. <laughs> Driving right through the chase strip. Flag in the air. We are underway in the Red Sim Shop Dirt Street Stock Tour. Like Giglio's around. Need a caution on lap two. <laughs> Pace truck is dangerous at this track. Very dangerous. Yellow underlined is one of the battles. The green underlined is the other battle for brackets for the playoffs. Cody Ernest and Damon Nagel. Those two have to battle one another for whoever can score the most points in the 13th and 14th races of the season. And Brewer and Montrose, they are the other battle. I think Ernest and Nagel is second and third, maybe? Have to look. I can't remember off the top of my head. Ernest and Nagel are the two and three seeds. Brewer and Montrose are the one and five seeds. Guess that two didn't count. Oh, the Lions should say 28, I think. There we go. Finally completed lap two. <laughs> Damon Nagel trying to get advantage on the inside line. The lime green machine or red flames. Very Christmas vibe to it. You need two different bankings here at Kokomo. The inside very flat, the outside nice and banked. Another driver trying to figure out their way around. Hi, Adam. Hi. Sorry, <laughs> feeling that very well. You can get the playoff decal to work, so they painted the whole car green. This is the story behind the 86 and why it's been green since the playoff started. Rather funny. I already start to make up some ground on that inside line. Nago tried to cut it back underneath him, but couldn't get underneath Ernest. Ernest goes back to the lead. Hayden running way out wide. And Brewer and Montrose, three wide battle. 
Brewers race car. Awesome again this week with the 69 Camaro classic racing stripes on it. Well done. Yeah, have Blake Giglio battling to his inside. For some reason, I seem to remember Blake Giglio telling me he hates Kokomo. <laughs> he did not by yet running 7. He still left his banners on. He didn't care. Hayden felt stopped caught off the corner. <laughs> Montrez gets to his outside. They make contact. Giglio just wrapped at the bottom. He'll pick up a couple spots. The third he goes. Brewer's going to spin it around in the four. I think there'll be quite a few drivers excited to get Kokomo over and done with. <laughs> Montrez and Brewer. That's for the playoff spots back there. Montrose has it. Hayden pulls down to the inside. I think Hayden's frustrated with this track already. Stays on lead lap. He'll get more practice. And then Ernest and Nagel. This is your two and three seeds from the regular season. Going at it for the race lead here. Each trying to knock the other out of playoff contention. Ernest has Cadillac backing on that 88. Scott thinks bottom line will eventually win this race. Don't see anybody get off the bottom cleanly in a while. Ernest back to the lead from the high line. Elson hits the tire. That's a little too low. <laughs> Breaks up our lead battle. Giglio now closing in. Trying to make his way into the fight. Hello, puppy. Random dog. Oh, super random. It does live here, but <laughs> did not expect to look down and see a dog underneath me. Cody, still lead. David Dave, Blake Eagle, they fight for a second. Something Hadel is not good at, yes. This and super speedways and short tracks. He's okay on short tracks. He's just not Superman like he is on mile and a half. Blake trying to put the move on Damon Nagel. He slides it then there. Nagel cuts it back to the inside. Giglio gets up into the wall. And Nagel really held it down there on the inside line, slowed his momentum. Blake, meanwhile, running way up at the wall. See the momentum, it gets him down the straightaway, though. Looks like the high line is going to eventually pay off for Blake. He gets second spot away from Nagel. Now he's trying to run down race leader Cody Ernest. Keep tabs on these times. He is making up all kinds of ground. Lost a bit on corner entry there, though. A bit more than usual. This end, he's really good. Goes back to the bottom. A little surprising there. Well, Nagel and Montrose. Montrose just about got it, the Nagel there. Nagel's starting to drift backwards. Montrose about parks it in the middle of the corner. <laughs> I want to go back over the lead. Blake's trying to figure out how to catch him on the opposite end of the track. A little surprised he's moved back down on both ends here. Now he's gone back to the top. Closest battle on track is Hayden Nolan, Joey Brewer. Fifth and sixth. Back of the car. That's the inside of the car. There we go. <laughs> 
both get up into the fence. Brewer got all kinds of out of shape after the fence. That allows Hazen to close in. Two to go. Right on his back bumper. Sends him up into the corner. Cody Ernest going to bring it on turn four. You see the checkered flag waving. Blake Giglio is second. And Nagel a distant third. And Montrose fourth. Jerry Brewer will get fifth. Hayden Lowell trying to make it there to sixth. I think Lafayette got him. Lafayette gets sixth. Hayden Lowell seventh. <laughs> we go into a little, I guess, five minute warm up where I'm supposed to interview the top three from that race. If they can hear me, because I am very quiet. I have no energy to say things. <laughs> I think Cody won. Damon get third. Damon, did you get third? Yes, I did. Well, congrats on your third. How'd you pull that off? Uh, luck. I thought I was going to drill that tire and ruin my night. I mean, you did drill it. You just didn't ruin your night. <laughs> uh, it's, it got tricky, but it's all luck. I couldn't hold off uh, Blake any longer, so I had to let him go. I don't even think you had a chance not to. He got up on that high line and took <laughs> off. Yeah, I tried to run up there, too. I just, I just pushed straight into the wall when I tried that, so I went straight back down to the bottom. Yeah, it was crazy how good Blake was rim riding that thing, but only on one end. He wasn't very good at the other end, so he would gain a ton of time on the leader, and then the other end he would give it all back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Just happy I finished not too far behind uh, Cody, because that's who I'm racing this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got Cody Ernest as your matchup, and I don't know, he's he's already got a leg up on you. You have to yeah. hold him off here in the second feature to try to stay level. That's the goal. <laughs> 10 4. You got the friends, family sponsors for the uh, third place run there. Uh, Rev Sim Shop, Delta Prime, Trevor Project, Outfront Minnesota, U for Broadcasting, and again, Scott. Sadly, he's missing from the week this week, but for him letting me run this stuff. Yeah. Sad Scott. He just got his wheel, and then his <laughs> PC decides to be yeah. Yeah, annoying. <laughs> but I don't know. That's life, I guess. That's racing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those darn mechanical <laughs> failures. <laughs> All right, bud. Get on uh, out here and try to get yourself a uh, level in points here in the second feature. Thank you. Have a good one. Damon Nagel brings it home third. Now we go get Blake. Blake, PG, you got a copy? How's it going? I'm sick of shit. How are you? Uh, well... I probably have a concussion after the tires, but I bet. <laughs> I mean, have, you, have you tried not hitting the tires? Dude, I was ripping at the start of that race on the bottom there. Yeah, I saw you ripping on the top. You were gaining on them, and then I guess like one end you couldn't figure it out, and the other end you were pretty good, so you would gain on on one end and give it back on the other. <laughs> yeah, I think we got figured out here for the feature. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to, you know, not wreck ourselves. So I think that's always a good plan there, and hopefully we can come on that feature too. Win. What is it? Not wrecking and racing is a good thing since when? Right, I normally wreck, so yeah, I normally don't hear about that. I know. We got to get RDC Sports a dirt win, right? Dude, I know, right? It's like the main reason I'm there. <laughs> All right, but go get that feature too, and uh, make it interesting. I'll try. Play Giglio at 16. And I uh, don't see Cody Ernest, so... Hi, William. Hello. I'm going to let you pretend to be Cody Ernest for a couple minutes and talk about your win in there in that feature one. Well, it was a hard-fought battle there with uh, uh, Damon. Uh, he put up a good fight, but uh, in the end, we uh, finally wound out. Yeah, Damon gave you quite a fit down there. He's uh seemed like whoever could get to the bottom first was the one that would get the advantage between the two of you and in the end yeah. it ended up being you. So congrats on the win there. Feature number one, you got the Friends Family Sponsor shoutouts for us. I have no clue. Uh, let's see, a Cadillac, TNT, uh, the guys that help him out every week, um, Rev Sim Shop for putting on the series and uh, Scott and Damon. Yeah, that was, that'll work. <laughs> I'll let you go back to being a crew chief. All right, thanks. <laughs> William filling in for feature one winner Cody Ernest not hanging out in driver chat today at least not yet sometimes shows up after session two uh, 
Uh. Have you seen the <laughs> Junior Motorsport number nine throwback? It's a throwback to Dale Junior like at Richmond two years ago. Okay, 2018. It's not quite two years ago, but still. It's like after he retired, he was in his part-time schedule. <laughs> Throwing back to that. What? <laughs> And that is the end of warm-up. We head into feature number two. We invert the field from race one. That means the fast guys are in the back. Cody Ernest, Blake Giglio, David Nagel will be fifth, sixth, and seventh. Hayden Lowell. I think he sandbagged it so he could start up front here on feature two. <laughs> Cheater. Let's get these laps out of there. Don't need those. Hayden has got himself on the track. Let's run through our Labor 12 starting lineup. Hooray! Hayden <laughs> Lovier. Pole sitter to 56 after finishing last in feature one. Lafayette finished sixth. He'll start second in feature number two. Joey Brewer coming in here as the number one seed. Did not have a very great uh, first feature there. So he'll have to try to hold off Montrose here in feature two to get back level on points. Montrose, the aforementioned number one guard, rolls off in the fourth spot after finishing fourth in the feature for one. Damon Nagel finished in third, so he'll roll off fifth here. Trevor Project 86. Blake Iglio finished second, so he'll start sixth. And Cody Ernest, he will roll off seventh after winning feature number one. He'll try to become a double feature winner here tonight. And thanks for call for our starting lineup music. Appreciate it. There goes the pace truck. Hayden Lowell has to wait till the scoreboard to be on the accelerator. Or actually, I think he has to wait for green on the initial start. <laughs> and then the scoreboard comes into play. If we get caution. Green flag wave, and Barney gives him the green light. Lafayette surging up the hill. Blake Giglio immediately up to the top. Contact! Oh my gosh, more contact. Double zero Lafayette got it a Montrose, and Blake Giglio got it a Lafayette. Oh, Brewer got all kinds of out of shape down there on the inside lane. Everyone gathers it back up. Hayden looking like a genius up there on the top. Saw that Giglio line working, I believe. Montrose is going to spit it out down on the inside. Catches it. Brewer, I don't think, did, though. He got left front damage big time on the floor, but nobody went around. That's going to spread the field out a bit as so we stay green. Working lap number three. We added an extra ten laps from feature one. Hayden, Nagel, Montrose, Lafayette. Right now, Nagel up on Ernest, and Montrose way up on Brewer. Let's see how that stacks up over the course of 40 laps here in feature number two. Is Giglio ripping the top as expected? He figured that out in feature one and didn't want to really show anybody. That's why he said shh in his interview. <laughs> Ernest Nathan Lafayette. Ernest gets by. Up to the fifth spot. Hayden comfortably out front. 1.2. 86 of Nagel. Nagel running Blake Giglio's line. Blake having to run the bottom. Nagel got a little too much of the wall there. Heard him bouncing all over it. Blake trying to make that inside work. Can't really show you both cars because they're so far apart. Try this shot, baby. <laughs> Keep the spectator view. Dead even at the line. Blake's now got that top, and he'll surge up to second and try to run down Hayden Lowell. Great shot. Blake on down, back down to the bottom, even though he didn't have to. Interesting move. And maybe 
he's decided what I thought in the first one. He was a little bit better on the high end of one side and not so good on it on the other. <laughs> Tries to do a low high lap. I think he's just searching right now. Let's see where his best lap times are coming in. Nagel's going to spin it. He's in the grass. I don't know if he'll trigger a caution coming back out. Looks like they'll stay green. Damon Nagel gives away the advantage he had over Cody Ernest. Gonna be brutal. Goes again on halfway on feature two. Blake so far not able to make a lot of inroads. Just a little bit of time coming off. Back down to the bottom he goes. <laughs> Almost sounds like he's clutching it. Lafayette and Brewer battle for fifth. Brewer trying to make up ground on Montrose as he is three spots behind him. Let's see if we can watch this battle for the lead off the front bumper. Or the roof. That works too. Green car is Nagel. Danger of going a lap down. Blue car up at the wall. That's Hayden Lull. Race leader. We're watching from second place Blake Giglio trying to run down that race leader. Little by little, he's actually getting there. We hit halfway in the race. Aiden's lead's been cut in half. Brewer and Lafayette still battling for fifth. So that left front damage from the start of the race. Brewer's car. Plate getting right up to Hayden now. <laughs> we use that angle every time. It's going to look like Blake passes him every corner. <laughs> perspective can do. Hayden, only just near leader at the line there. 15 laps to go. 14. Lafayette's fall into the tail of the field. So our playoff drivers now run 3, 4, 5, 6. So close between Lafayette and Giglio there. Giglio was never going to lift. Holy cow, that was close. Giglio had to run the middle there because Lafayette all the way down at the bottom. That's going to hurt Blake. This end gets back down where he wants to run. Yeah, settle in and find his rhythm down low again. Blake Kickfield and Hayden have had a lot of drama on asphalt this season. Interesting to see if that carries over to the dirt at all. This 
Scott, you also said you thought the winner would come from the low line. Not that I'm saying those things are mutually exclusive, but... <laughs> Wow, Montreal is all over the place. A whole six laps left to go. Hayden crosses the line. Now he gets into lap traffic. Decided he can't go to the top. He went through the middle. Giglio right down there with him. Oh, Hayden really just parks it right in front of Blake. Blake loses his nose. Blake, I'm sure, not going to be pleased with that. I don't know if Hayden did anything intentional, but now Blake has no nose trying to fight Hayden. That car could overheat, but only five laps. See if he pulls the slider here. He wanted to so badly. There it is. Blake Giglio gets in front of him. Haven gives him a shot in the back bumper, shoves him up and into the wall. Now Blake, I'm sure, knows that <laughs> everything's fair game at this point. You give him a shot that hard. Blake's going to cross back to his inside. Shot just can't show both cars with Blake Giglio, I'm sure, is out front. Blake's. He's able to use that high line. Go back to this. So we get the white flag in the air. Blake Giglio leads Hayden Lull. <laughs> and a good full contact battle there for the lead. Blake able to get the slider done, and Hayden had no choice but to push him along. Blake Giglio will come off and win feature number two. Hayden Lull will pick up second, and Cody Ernest a distant third. But he did what he needed to do in his points battle. So he's the highest playing finish off, finish off playoff driver. Brings it home third, Montrose fourth, Nagel fifth, and Brewer sixth. So Montrose over Brewer in, I believe, both races there. And Ernest over Nagel in both races. So those two drivers will be getting a nice little points cushion as they head into next week. Blake Giglio is your race winner. Parked it in victory lane and disappeared. <laughs> Blake! I have a front bumper. You have no front bumper at all. <laughs> I told Hayden, I said, when we hit each other, all of a sudden I just couldn't turn. Front end, I, I see why. <laughs> yeah, your front end disappeared. Oh, a hobby stock out there. Yeah, look, they look nice though, at least, you know. The only thing I worry about is getting that dirt in the radiator. Yeah, screw the radiator. <laughs> you don't need her for five laps, right? Yeah, no, it's good to go. <laughs> well, congrats on the feature two win. You have the friends, family sponsor shout outs for us tonight. Yeah, shout out to obviously first out with Hayden there. That was a lot of fun. We were in voice chat together and one of us were up on the top, one of us were up on the bottom. We hit each other like three times, I think, but it was a great race. Hope it was entertaining for everybody. Shout out to Artemis, uh CTC, Lil Drag, um, and nine performance obviously. Everyone that's on the car and uh glad we were able to get a win here and looking forward to the trucks here in a little bit. And four good luck in trucks. Thanks. And Hayden, Hayden DG, got a copy? Yeah, I got you, Swiss. Well, we brought that Napa comb, comb, car home. <laughs> Can you tell I'm sick? Brought it home in uh, second place tonight, and it was uh, quite a battle there with you and Blake. Looked like you had uh, used the perfect strategy of sucking in feature one to take the pole in feature two, and just about ran away with it. Blake was able to run you down and get the win. What did you need to hold him off there at the end? Yeah, in that first feature, I got hung up on a tire, and... I was like, well, you know, if I'm back here now, I might as well just stay back here and stay on the pole for that second feature. And then I don't know if the top slicked off too much or if I burned my right rear up or or what it is, because I, I don't understand dirt racing at all. Just uh, Blake could make more time than me on the bottom, and we were racing, throwing sliders, and then I got really loose. I think out of four, coming to like two to go or whatever it was, and that just, at that point, the gap was too big to throw sliders, so... Uh, it's kind of over at that point, but that was that was really fun. I'm glad I decided to do this. <laughs> what happened at the corner? You came out of the corner and just didn't go at all. I think you over over rotated a little bit, and Blake just clobbered you and lost his front bumper. I thought you were good to go at that point, and then he was still able to get back by you. Yeah, Blake and I were in the same chat there, and 
that happens and he's like, I think I'm broke. And well, I told him after the race, you're not broke enough. So <laughs> fair enough. Go break them harder next time. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see if we can flip the script at Dover here in a couple of minutes. 10 four. We'll see how you do in trucks. Good luck. Thank you very much. Swiss. Hey, Lowell brings home P2. Hey, do you want to do any shout outs? Uh, I don't know. The usual. I'm up here enough. Okay. <laughs> We're so professional tonight. <laughs> right? 10 out of 10. Beautiful. All right. Enjoy your break until the treks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let's see if uh, if Cody showed up. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see Cody. Uh, I think William's going to have to be stand in again. Well, William, you're going to have to be stand in again. I don't see Cody anywhere. I think he's under chat ban or something, but I don't know why he's not in Discord. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, congrats on your third place run there. Looked like you were heading towards maybe trying to get that double feature win, but just couldn't quite get there. Not of laps. A little too much speed for Hayden and Blake. What did you need to try and run them down there at the end? Uh, more lap traffic. I know they got uh, slowed down when the lap traffic came, and that's where I gained a lot of it. So just wish they would have... Uh, had more lap track to traffic to uh, get through. The good news is none of those guys were in the playoff fights. You were still two spots ahead of Nagel. You finished ahead of him in both features, so that's good for your playoff standings for uh, next week. Uh, how do we feel about our positioning heading into the final uh, ra- race of the round? I feel pretty good here. We uh, got a good car underneath us, and uh, everyone does a good job back in the shop, so uh, we'll just put everything together and come out and do the same thing next week. And four. And do you have your friends, family, sponsor shadows for us? Cadillac, TNT, uh, Nagel, and uh, Scott for putting on the uh, leagues. You for broadcasting. Uh, Dev some shop for sponsoring. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Good job. All right. All right. We appreciate you, uh, William Asherbrenner, filling in as Cody Ernest for your third place and first place uh, uh, finishing positions in the two races tonight. I can't talk. I'm just completely out of it. <laughs> yeah, I understand. I'm the same way. All right. Well, that was, uh, that was an exciting battle, actually, for the second feature. I enjoyed that. Blake and Hayden really put on a good show. What did you think? Yeah, it was a really good show there. Um, Hayden running that high line there uh, was able to hold off uh, Blake for quite a while then uh like i said when they got into the lap traffic that's uh when it got really interesting yeah he had to start searching it looked like he didn't really know where else to go (laughs) blake was good on the high lane but he i don't think he had enough practice down running the uh, mid or low lane yep that's what i saw too all right that was fun let's uh let you go and i'll uh... send it off to I'll do, I'll do sponsors, and I think he was in the middle of talking, but that's okay. <laughs> Let's bring that up, and then this goes out, and this goes out, and then we can do our broadcast. Wild Horse does our Arca Series Monday. Res Some Shop did our dirt race that you watched here tonight. Labor 12 is put on our truck race here in a few minutes. We have Arc Music doing our Wednesday Night Cup Series. And we have Xfinity Series done by Fort Worth Screen Printing, and Golden Eagle Serp does our Friday Super Speedway Series. All these series have <laughs> been a lot of fun this season, to be honest with you. And then our final Friday uh, race is the IndyCar Race with CTC Race Network. Help appreciate Lucas and those folks putting on the broadcast for us. Hope you guys have a wonderful, delightful rest of your night, and make sure you check out the truck race here in a little bit. We're just going to jump off of YouTube and load up another video, so stick around for that. We appreciate you.